Factsverse presents When a mother posted a photo of her baby online, her friend saw a worrying reflection in her eye. When it comes to worrying, you'll never have to worry about missing one of our videos if you subscribe and click the notification bell. And be sure to click the like button, too, to let people know you're a fan of Factsverse. It's not uncommon for proud moms to post photos of their children online. When a mother posted a photo of her baby online, though, a friend spotted a worrying reflection in her eye. The mother in question was Madeline Robb from Stratford, England. She worked as a business analyst, and in 2007 she found out that she and her husband Doug were expecting. Since this was going to be Madeline's first child, she wanted to do as much research as possible. The first thing she did was sign up for an online pregnancy chat room called BabyFit. While in the chat room, Madeline made contact with a woman named Megan Santos from Florida. Megan was also expecting a baby. Since Megan's daughter Rowan arrived on the same day as Madeline's daughter Lilith, the two women developed a special bond. For a year, the two women exchanged emails and photos, documenting their lives with their families. In 2008, though, something happened, and their friendship was changed forever. Everything started when Megan posted a picture of her daughter Rowan, who was now one year old. At first, it looked like an adorable photo from the mother's view. When Madeline saw the picture, she became worried, though. In the photo, Madeline noticed a strange white shadow covering Rowan's left eye. She remembered hearing something about similar symptoms before, and she remembered the terrifying cause of the shadow. According to Madeline, she saw a news article a few years earlier, and it sparked her memory. Soon, the word cancer came to her mind. She was very concerned about her friend's baby, and she decided to do some research. She didn't want to mention anything to her friend until she was sure there was something to mention. After doing a thorough online search, though, Madeline's worst fears were discovered. She found out that retinoblastoma, which is a tumor of the eye, could have been responsible for the whiteness in the baby's eye. If the condition goes left untreated, it can spread to other parts of the body. Madeline was very concerned about Rowan. She didn't want to scare her, but she knew that she had to let her know something might be wrong. If it was something serious, Megan needed to know so that she could get her daughter Rowan to a doctor as soon as possible. After speaking with Madeline, Megan made an appointment with her doctor. The next day, she went to see an ophthalmologist. After weeks of tests, it was confirmed Rowan did have a tumor on her retina. Megan was told that this was a rare type of cancer and it could affect one or both eyes. In most cases, it affects young children, and it can even begin while still in the womb. Sadly, the only way to keep the tumor from spreading was the doctors had to remove Rowan's eye. Megan says that as hard as the situation is on her family, she'll be forever grateful to Madeline. She says she considers Madeline to be her family's hero. If she hadn't taken the time to do some research and send that email, Rowan's prognosis might not be as good as it is. According to the doctors, if she would have delayed treatment even by a week, the tumor could have invaded Rowan's optic nerve. According to Madeline, she thinks that it's sweet that Megan called her a hero, but just did what any friend would do, or at least should do. When Megan and Madeline's story got out, it quickly made international headlines. Best of all, it raised awareness toward retinoblastoma. Best of all, a life was saved. When a man in Londonderry, Northern Ireland named Seamus McClafferty saw the story, he thought about the similar thing he noticed on his daughter's eye. After rushing his daughter to the hospital, she too was diagnosed with cancer. According to Seamus, if he had not heard Rowan's story and saw a photo of her eye, he never would have been alarmed. Fortunately, Rowan responded to the chemotherapy well. After the doctors removed her eye, she started quickly recovering. About a year after her daughter's diagnosis, Megan returned to BabyFit to give an update on Rowan's condition. She mentioned that the doctors told her that Rowan was cancer-free and that her hair was growing back. The biggest challenge is getting the little girl to wear glasses because she hates wearing them. Megan also added that Rowan was fitted with a prosthetic eye. While she's getting used to it, the doctors are going to fit her for a better one that is custom-designed to fit the little girl. Megan is thankful that her little girl got the care she needed before the cancer spread and says that she has her good friend Madeline to thank for it. Subscribe for more!